You need to be asking them for what you... I never understood how women can feel. I'm scared to ask. I don't want to ask for anything. I have... But he's not scared to ask you for that cat. The Next Door Podcast. Welcome back to the Next Door Podcast. I am Bessie Next Door, and I'm like your Bessie Next Door. If you like your tea to be extra, extra sweet, then this place is not for you. Because we like our tea to be sweet and bitter. Sweet enough that it goes down, bitter enough to wake us up. Now, I mean... We're on episode eight now, so you guys know how we already start this. We got our American Honey Fresh Bottle. American Honey, I'm still waiting for you to come and sponsor me because, you know. And of course, the Red Bull. What would it be like without me doing my SMR on camera? Let's get started. The sound of a fresh open bottle just, it just does it for me. Because we're going to get into some things this episode. We're going to get into some things. Perfect, perfect. On this episode, we're going to talk about going 50-50 and splitting everything down the middle with a man. There are people that feel somehow about the topic. You know, we have women that are feminists that believe in equal rights with men. But the women that believe in equal rights with men, I have a question. When you go to pee, do you sit or stand up? Think about it. You see, what I'm driving at by asking that question is, a man is always standing and a woman is always sitting. What does that mean? We are not the same. So it can never be equal. It can never, ever be equal. I'm okay with not being equal with a man as long as he's paying all the bills. Because you're not going to question me or have opinions if you're not paying any bills. When you're going 50-50 with a man, it comes with a lot of different things. Yes, we understand that today's world is the modern world and, you know, women have rights to work. I'm not saying you shouldn't work. I'm not saying you shouldn't contribute anything. And I'm not saying you shouldn't have your own money. However, what makes a man a man and what makes him more in his masculine energy is his ability to provide for you and the family. Can you split the giving birth process to him? Can you carry and he delivers? It doesn't work like that. And women don't think about that. Women try to be fair and say, you know, yeah, it can't be all on a man. But it's like all a man's duty is to provide and be a man and protect. That's all his duty. We have more on our plate. We get our periods. We have to give birth. We have to nurture. We have to... We have more on our plate than we think about. And when you think about it, when you're in a 50-50 relationship with a man, it's never, ever going to be 50-50. Because that man is going to require you to do domesticated things for him, like cook, clean. He's still going to want to do that. And because you're his woman and because you're in love, you're going to want to do it naturally. Because you know what happens is when a woman is in love... It's like the senses that we have is gone. Our senses is gone. It's absolutely gone. That's why it's better to be in love with a man that understands his duty than to be with a man that wants to be a roommate. Because look, if you're going 50-50 on everything, groceries, rent, cable, phone bill, you are a roommate. Don't argue. You are a roommate. So you can't tell her who she can and cannot flirt with or text. You are her roommate. Don't try to tell a woman she can't have male friends when you are a roommate. You are a roommate. And men don't like to hear that, but it's the truth. When you think about it, in college, you only go half and half with roommates. You only go half and half with roommates. So any man that is sitting there telling you, oh, you need to pay, bring up half the bills, next caller. Any man that's trying to make you go 50-50 on a date or on all the bills. I'm talking about every single bill. Next caller. Because he, you're not giving him 50-50 kitty cat. It doesn't work like that. And some people feel like it's okay to go 50-50 with their partner. But there's no woman that can be feminine in a 50-50 equation. How do you expect her to be feminine and respect you as a man when you can't even provide and pay all the bills and make sure she's protected and safe? She has to go half on providing for herself. She has to go ha half on protecting. She's not going to feel protected anyway. These men are requiring so much for women, oh, to be domesticated, but they're not even willing to be the provider and the protector. You can't want a woman to cook and clean for you, and you're not even paying the bills. How? It doesn't work like that. See, the thing is, is you women need to have standards. And you know, you don't want to seem needy, but you need to be asking these men for what you want. I never understood how women can feel. I'm scared to ask. I don't want to ask for anything. I have... 
but he's not scared to ask you for that cat. So you shouldn't be scared to ask him for some money. If he's not scared to spread your legs like a banana, then you shouldn't be scared to spread his wallet to ask for some money. Absolutely. These broke men are fooling you. These broke men are out here playing chess while you girls are playing checkers by not asking for what you want from them. And they're laughing. They're laughing because they played you. They scammed you. These broke men make you believe that you asking them for money means you're broke and you're a gold digger. But how can you, as a man, want cat from a woman and not have no money? Doesn't that make you a cat digger? You're a cat digger. Absolutely, you're a cat digger. Because we women, we have so many expenses and we forget that. We nails, feet, period, waxing, hair, lashes. Our maintenance is so high as a woman that it should be forbidden to deal with a broke man. Absolutely. It's forbidden. Because let me tell you something. These men that go 50-50, they have money. Trust me, they have money. Don't be fooled. They have money. They choose you to go 50-50 with because you require less. There's so many ways to help out a man by not compromising your femininity and compromising him being a masculine man, which is to provide. Men take joy in providing. It's their nature. It's their nature to provide. It's their nature to go out and hunt and bring back what they've hunted. If you look at animals, animals are the same way. If males take pride in going out and bringing food for the family. So you, as a woman, compromising that trying to say oh I want to go half with you you're compromising his masculinity and when he becomes feminine you start complaining like oh all these guys are feminine they're so feminine you enabled it you allowed it blame yourself you paying for dates you're going half on groceries how and then you opening your legs and then you're calling them feminine if all the women were to increase their standards and not give hat to the brokies, I bet you there'll be no broke man in this world and more men willing to provide. The reason why there's so many broke men is that the broke men are still getting cat anyway because they're scamming these girls into believing that if you're asking me for what you want, you're broke. And these girls are having so much pride, like, no, I'm not going to ask him. I'm not going to ask him. He's scamming you. If you can't ask him for what you need, he shouldn't be able to receive. If you can't ask him for what you need, he shouldn't be able to receive. Dry pockets, dry kitty, immediately. And don't come here and talk about money's not important. Money is important because you can't take feelings to the bank. You can't take your thoughts to the bank. If you can take your thoughts and feelings to the bank, let me know. Till then, money is important. And if you don't have none, don't come here. Just like how you know you can't afford Louis Vuitton and you don't go into the store, don't approach a woman you know you can't afford and then get mad and call her a gold digger. When really, you're a cat digger. Don't let these broke men fool you into thinking otherwise. You're going to be going 50-50 with him. He's going to be saving his money. You're going to be busting your A. You know what? When he's tired of you because you're going to be overworked, stressed out, you're not going to have time for yourself because you got to cook clean. And if kids are in the picture, take care of the kids. So you're not going to be taking care of yourself the way you should. And you know what he's going to do? He's going to take his other half and take someone else on a date. And they're not going to have to go half with him. Yeah. Did you think about that? Demand what you want from these men. They listen. They hear you. When you are a man's dream girl, a man will never go 50-50 with his dream woman. Let's talk about it. A man will never go 50-50 with his dream woman. Let's talk about it. Because he knows that he's gotten himself to the level where he can afford his dream girl. So if he's going 50-50 with you and not trying to even take care of you, dates, gifts, nothing, next caller. What are you? Well, I'm saying it for my next caller. Because you know what's going to happen years later? You're going to resent that man. Because why? You're going to start blaming him for your downfalls. That's what's going to happen. You're going to start blaming him. You're going to say it's his fault that you're not this. You're, it's his fault you're not that. Why are you wasting your time? Don't waste your time with a man who can't afford to pay a bill. You want to have so many good morning text messages in your phone with men that are not even paying bills. See, a lot of you have so much pride and are scared to ask a man you're dealing with for money that you'd rather just have the good morning notifications. No, sweetie. I'd rather have notifications from my bank account. That's how you tell me good morning. 
I want to make this very clear. It's not about dealing with the richest man. It's about dealing with a man that understands that he's dealing with the woman. And dealing with the woman comes with a lot of maintenance. We have a lot of maintenance. So if you can't afford it and you know it's a problem to you or you can't, you despise it, date boys. The boys are available. There's plenty of them. Because it seems like you guys like yourself so much. It's so funny to me because men are getting mad at spending money on a woman that they're dealing with, but would spend the utmost money on their homeboy. If you like boys, just say that. Going 50-50 is forbidden for women. The reason why he's going to go 50-50 with you is because you require less. That's all. And trust me, if he's going to cheat on you, he's going to cheat on you with a woman he's not going 50-50 with. Check what I'm saying. Any woman that has gone 50-50 with a man and he's cheated, the woman that he's cheated with did not have to go 50-50 with him. The woman that he cheated with saw a whole different side of him. I need to re-up because what I'm going to say next, hmm. I'm telling you guys the truth. These people are coming on here telling you guys lies. I'm telling you guys the truth. You should never open your legs for a man that you cannot depend on because you're putting yourself at risk. If you can't depend on him now, what makes you think you're going to be able to depend on him if you guys have a child? Think about it. Understand that you cannot be giving your cat away to men that you can't depend on. If you can't depend on him, next caller, immediately. You guys are out here giving free cat like it's a charity case. You guys know I be bouncing around from different topic. Right now, I think this episode is really a rant because... I get so confused at women that say, oh, I go 50-50, and they're so proud to say it. So you mean to tell me, as a woman, you're going to go half with your man on rent, groceries, cable, phone bill? You might as well give him half cat then, give him half the cat, and give the other half to another man that understands his duty. Hello. Come on. Ladies, think about this. And believe it or not, a lot of men open their mouth and say, if I was a woman, I would be dangerous because they know how, how good it is to be a woman because we don't have it that hard as them. Women don't have it as hard as men, but yet women don't understand the game. And that's why these men are out here playing chess while you playing checkers, scamming you out that good old cat. And you guys are giving your cat out to broke men while the broke man is breaking your heart. You should never cry over a broke man. Those tears are broke tears. There's too many broke, 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 broke in that equation. He can't even afford the tears. He can't even afford to give you a tissue box to wipe the tears. So while you're crying over it, open the door and let him walk out of it. Because that's your last time dealing with a broke man. You see, the thing is, is that a broke man knows how to play the game. He'll D you down, make you forget yourself, make you lose all the senses you had in your head. While still making you cook for him, clean you out your house of all the food while he's watching the game or watching TV, scratching his balls. And tapping you on your back and saying, wow, baby, you're working so hard. You're such a queen. That's disrespectful. Send him packing immediately. Next caller. It's New Year. No more broke men. Ladies, don't let the good D confuse you. If he's broke, he's broke. Next caller. Immediately. You do not want to have a child by a broke man. He can't afford a baby. He can't afford the tears. What is he doing in your life? Next caller. Immediately. You know, I really wanted to have this rant because I see a lot of things on social media when it comes to this whole 50-50 thing and people arguing about who should pay what and what should pay what and women are justifying. Yes, there's going to be times where you're going to need to be there for your man. It's not always all about you. However, a relationship is really 100-100. There's going to be times where you're going to have to support your partner. But if he's making you go half on everything, come on. So no, women should not be going 50-50 with no man unless he's a roommate. And if you are going 50-50 with a man, He's a roommate, and you treat him as such. Yes, you have male friends. Yes, you have guys you're texting because you're a roommate. Since he can't step up and be a masculine man, your male friends is going to help you. The guys you're texting is going to help you. So he shouldn't worry about how you get your, your half or question you about your whereabouts because he's a roommate. Yes, he's a roommate. Yeah, I know how I always, I love to bounce around on topics. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. This is episode eight. I'm so excited that we're, we're somewhat growing and we're somewhat advancing. You know, it's I'm a one-man army right now, so it's just me by myself. Of course, we're going to grow to have guests, but 
I feel like right now I have like so many different personalities that I feel like I'm entertaining you guys enough with just me by myself. But we will grow to have guests. Guys, it helps my channel when you like, comment, and subscribe. So please like, comment, subscribe. And you know what I always say? Until we meet again.